big salute to all of my veterans out here. Big shout out to all of my subscribers, man. Like I tell you guys, I can't go a video without showing my appreciation. Big salute to all of my freight dispatchers and freight brokers out here. And big salute to everyone that's about to come off into this industry. I'm talking about on that dispatching and that freight broker inside, playing the middleman, and it ain't nothing like it. I'm talking about the middleman never loses in any business, and that's pure facts. So let me break it down to you guys real quick. I know there's a lot of people out here that have this question because I have been asked this question multiple times this week. So let me create a video for you guys to put it out in the world. Will the rise of diesel fuel impact or hurt freight brokers and dispatchers as much as it's going to hurt actual truckers? So let me tell you guys, when you're playing the middleman in any business and you're not assuming really no risk at all, no liability, how can anything really hurt you? So let me tell you guys, coming from a freight broker and the dispatching perspective right now, you know, some of you truckers, you might get mad at me, but I'm not wearing a trucking hat right now. I'm wearing a freight broker and dispatching hat. I'm playing the middleman right now, which I love. You know, I started out playing the trucking games. Now I'm playing the middleman, which has been an amazing, you know, for me. So let me tell you guys on the trucking side, yes, it's going to hurt some of you truckers out here, I created a video basically showing you guys how you could basically overcome what's going on right now too. So if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. You know, I talked about how high the prices of fuel are right now and some steps on what you guys could possibly do, you know, to uh, pretty much succeed during this hard and challenging time right now too, right? So let's talk about the truckers are going to start hurting because they're going to start having to pay double and triple fuel prices, right? So that's the trucking industry. If you guys own trucks, you already know there's a significant amount of overhead involved in trucks. You, you have to pay truck note, trailer note, commercial insurance, fuel, driver pay if you have it, unexpected maintenance. There's a lot of overhead that goes into the trucking side. So that's why I recommend to a lot of people start a lease on trucking company and stop buying all of these trucks, you know, too. You're accumulating a lot of overhead when you go out and you want to build this big fleet, you know, of trucks. A lot of those trucks are just going to be sitting in your yard more than likely. You know, ride by these mega carriers and all of these big trucking companies, terminals. They have a bunch of trucks and trailers sit out, sitting out in the yard. See, a lot of people ride by that, and we think that looks amazing and looks pretty because they have all of these blue trucks, red trucks, and trailers and everything sitting in their yard. We think it looks amazing, but in reality, if those trucks are not, not out on the road, they're not making money. Those trucks are just overhead too, right? So for you guys right now, the trucking side has a lot of overhead. Now let's talk about the freight broker and, and the dispatch. And I'm talking about playing the middleman right now too, right? So you have freight brokers and dispatchers who assume really no risk and no liability, but can make way more money than a trucking company. And that's all depending on your hustle and your determination too as being a freight broker or a dispatcher being a freight broker and a dispatcher is not for the lazy it's not for anyone who don't want to hustle if you don't like talking to people this is not for you if you don't want to get out there and um, network and make cold calls and walk into different areas and introduce yourself this business is not for you freight brokering and dispatching but if you are an outgoing person someone who you know is a hustler someone who don't mind opening up their mouths closed mouths don't get fed right you know freight brokering and dispatching is going to be for you and what's going on right now with the fuel prices um, increasing freight brokers and dispatchers don't really have to worry about that because freight brokers and dispatchers are not paying for fuel you know too 
freight brokers and dispatchers are just basically sitting back, providing the service, playing the middleman and taking the cut off of what is being made. And that's the most beautiful part about being a freight broker and a dispatcher. You assume really no liability and no risk, you know, and no overhead, very low startup costs. I'm talking about starting up a freight brokers for less than $2,000 like I did back in 2017. I'm talking about starting up a dispatching business for less than $1,000, you know, two people out here starting trucking companies up and off top, you're at a hundred grand because you have to go buy your truck and your trailer. And that's on the bare minimum, a hundred thousand. You know, I know people that's out here spending $150,000 on brand new semi trucks plus right now, you know? So real quick video. So no freight brokers and dispatchers right now, the, price of fuel is not going to affect us when we're talking about brokering and dispatching, you know, just keep focusing in on acquiring your shippers, acquiring your clients and your owner operators that dispatch for and focus on making sure that you're getting max dollar in the negotiating when we're talking about brokering and dispatching. If you're dispatching, making, make sure that you are getting the max dollar for those owner operators. Don't just be dispatching to just dispatch. You know, there's a lot of people out here that's just trying to make money off transactions off of dispatching, but it's not really giving and providing their owner operators the full service too. They're not fully negotiating for these owner operators. So if you're a dispatcher, make sure that you guys are really dispatching to perfection and I'm talking about by making sure that you are negotiating for the best rate for the owner operator. The more money you could get for that owner operator, the more money you're going to get, you know, for your cut, right? So anyway, real quick video, man, for you guys out here. If you guys have any questions, hit me on my text message, 317-953-8943. Go visit my website, W www.extraordinarymovement.com Go get your 30-day free trial with DAT. Go sign up with TAVS, Trans and Financial Services if you guys are looking for a factor in service. Also, if you guys are freight brokers looking for a factor in service, go sign up with Axel Payments. Everything in the description box below. Once again, let me tell you guys real quick. Will freight brokers and dispatchers have any type of kickback or impact and the increase in the rise of the diesel fuel? No. Freight brokers and dispatchers are just going to play the middleman and make a cut off that transaction. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.